Donkeys. donkeys welcome to another recap of hell's kitchen last week curtis was cut and a lot of the people were shocked that raj was not cut raj was thrilled i all i have to say is this is not top chef raj is going to be around uh, along with the other crazies in the kitchen because this is ramsey he's looking for the ratings he doesn't play games all right, well, he does play games until he gets the ratings. So they got a 5.07 wake-up call, um, and they were examined. It was almost like they were being abducted by aliens. <laughs> they were checking their eyes, their fat, their everything, and, uh, you know, blood pressure. It was like they were taken onto the ship and examined. Well, the reason why they were examined was because they keep effing up in the kitchen, and he wants to make sure that they're not physically sick. They're just mental. All right, so they have to cook breakfast for all of their examiners and then some, like a zillion or at least 50 per kitchen. So they have a choice, one healthy breakfast or one unhealthy breakfast on the menu. You know, one's egg whites and one's like regular scrambled eggs. So Raj, uh, when he gets upset, he likes to stick his head in the freezer. I guess he overheats a lot because he's freaking fat. All right, so the ladies totally rock this one out. The guys, eh, eh, not so much. But the ladies, they had it going on. In fact, I believe the ladies had to help uh, finish serving the guys' so side of the dining room afterwards. All right, so their reward, it's Santa Monica, the Viceroy for lunch. But first, trapeze school. All right, and the men, as their punishment, they had to polish a zillion glasses because this week in the dining room, they're going to be having welcome cocktails. And they had to clean the kitchen. So everyone is ragging on Raj. And why wouldn't you? That guy is a freaking mess. I don't know how else to describe him. <sighs> All right, so, and Sabrina's a bitch, just in case you were wondering. In case you didn't figure it out. <laughs> Although it's fairly obvious. So cocktails will be served this week by Sabrina and Trev. What a couple. Uh, so Emily, she must be part deer because she way oversalted the food. And she was still like, I don't see how this is salty. People were dying out there. They were drinking gallons of water. They had to send it back. Raj, he had a new way of grilling his salmon. He said he grilled it and then he put it in... This really weird sauce in a in a pan and tried to serve it. It looked horrible. It looked like it was sitting there for hours. Uh, Melissa, her fish looked like Gandhi's flip flops, but that's impossible because the girl with the tattooed on eyebrows said that Gandhi didn't wear flip flops because he lived in the jungle. I love how these people rewrite history. And those eyebrows, honey, why would you do that? Why? Raj was also eating the food in the kitchen. Annie was cooking all of it just in case somebody might order it and it would be ready then. He wasn't taking any chances. Um, he had to go out into the dining room and tell the customers that there wasn't enough food because he cooked it. <laughs> oh, Raj. All right, so the men ended up kind of beating the ladies uh there were no winners but then when ramsey pulled out the comment cards the men had a little bit more positive response than the ladies so the ladies had to nominate two and they nominated emily and sabrina which really pissed off sabrina she had an award-winning speech about how she's got bigger balls than any of the other girls in the restaurant and raj was cut because <laughs> you know how ramsey likes to do things the nominations don't mean a damn thing. So next time in the kitchen, uh, Ramsey asked the chefs not to smoke for two days because it's really stupid for chefs to smoke, or anyone for that matter, because it messes up your palate. How are you supposed to taste when you, it's clouded by smoke? All right, so it's the ravioli challenge, and Sabrina was especially super annoying on this one. Trevor, he was just trying to please everyone because... He's an ass kisser, I think. So they had to rank the dishes. They ranked Trevor's dish last, but Gail wanted to be last because I guess she didn't have a whole lot of confidence in her dish. The men end up winning, and 
Vinny's ravioli is on the menu. The men's reward, you say? Uh, well, they took a helicopter to a golf resort, and the women had to prep both kitchens and milk cows. I really hate when they, like, put animals as, like, part of the punishment. They didn't ask to be there. All right, so the guys were enjoying the reward. They were having a good time. They were bonding, and then Trevor had to bring down the room. Bad move. Then... He asked, when they got back to the restaurant, he asked to make out with Gail. What the hell? Um, he's really messed up in the head. <laughs> like, she was going to say yes. I mean, don't he, even if it was a joke, which I really don't think it was. All right, some of the chefs were able to keep up the non-smoking, and some were not, Trevor, Gail. All right, so it's Italian night in the kitchen. Uh, Jack Osborne's in the house. F you. And table 24 on the blue side, someone will be proposing, or they would like to anyhow. So Louie started off the night with some raw salmon. And Melissa, well, she must be studying the new math because she thinks three threes are six. And Rob, he was on the pizza station. He burnt the pizza, so as his punishment, he had to eat it. I can agree with that. And Sabrina, all you need to know, manipulating bitch. All right, so apparently there was some trouble in the kitchen and Boris decided to wash some pots. I don't know. Uh, he got thrown out of the kitchen along with Louie. Uh, the ladies finish and they try and help the men, but there's no helping the men. So Ramsey and the sous chefs have to save the day. And they at least made the food for the guy proposing because he didn't even get served until Ramsey took over. So, let's see, um, she said yes, <laughs> good job, Ramsey, I'm sure they'll be divorced, I give it six months. All right, uh, Melissa and Gail were originally nominated, but then they changed it to Melissa and Sabrina. And then on the men's team, it was Louie and Boris. All right, to make a long story short, Louie's cut. <laughs> he has to go back to his camp and answer to the kids that he cooks for. Next time, oh my god, it's prom, guys. Till then, much love.